Yo, 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 what's going on guys? What's going on guys? It's your boy Cam Legend and in this video I'm going to be speaking about how to be here right now in the present moment. Now there's a popular book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle and some people may be familiar with it if you're in the practice of spiritual enlightenment and this book is very powerful it's not one of the best books i've read i think i've mentioned that before but there was a few chapters that just wholeheartedly resonated with me i feel like the writing style was unnecessarily um extravagant you know some people just like to use big words and that's fine because i'll bring out a dictionary and find out what these words mean but for the most part i didn't like the way the word structures were but anyway i was still able to decode this book now what i like to do when i read books is actually use this in my daily life and workings um What's the point of reading all these books if you don't put them to test, okay? And that's one thing I can say is that the power of now definitely is a true science because in this reality, we have the now, which is the causality, which is the existence of what can we do right now to change our potential outcome and then we have the past, which is always dwelling in trauma and what we should have done, what we could have done. And then we have the future, which is always worrying about what will happen if we do something right now. But then we don't do anything right now because we're worrying about the past. Okay, so can you see how everything is kind of like a... Uh, paradox okay and when we get caught up in the past the future and not doing anything right now we now then procrastinate okay and what I'm speaking about right now is something that all people experience we are not um, we are not sorry something just hit my foot we are not um, powerful enough to escape this actuality of this reality because our brains are hardwired to be distracted. This is just something that is known, is studied and is written about. Our brains love to be distracted. It's not because we want to be off our purpose or we love to find things not to do this is how we are hardwired actually so never blame yourself for not being on your purpose this is why i make videos is to help people uh reprogram their mind reprogram their mind and understand that if we implement certain things we can actually overcome the hardwiring of our minds and this will be by cues uh, cues are powerful what i've learned from reading other books like atomic habits is that cues is what empowers a thought form or habit to be real so for example if you're trying to give up smoking and you see a lighter in your house which now makes you want to smoke this will be considered a cue if you see paraphernalia in your house aka a baggie aka some roll-up paper some roll-up paper joints rizzlers uh you know all these kind of things a bong this now makes you want to smoke so what you will have to do to eliminate any potentiality of smoking 
is remove these cues altogether. And when you want to positively enhance a habit, you now enforce the medium of a cue, okay? So this now brings me to the topic of what we can do to enhance being in the power of now. So when one is out of alignment by distractions, we can positively do things to bring us back here right now to channel and dialing whatever we want to do at this present moment and this can be just by doing something as simple as clicking the fingers you know clicking the fingers it now puts you in some kind of hypnosis to know hey snap out of it i'm daydreaming i'm in a trance i'm scrolling up and down on instagram um, because when you do these things, it's unconscious, it's subconscious, you just do it. And you know that it's unconscious because if you was to actually note down when you did it, why you did it, and how much time you lost, you'll see that you lost sense of time, okay? And when you're positively doing something like, I don't know, uh, for me, example, would be making beats. I lose the sense of time. I lose the sense of knowing what's around me. When I put those headphones in or when the speakers are on and the headphones are, um, are on and the door shut, I lose the sense of time. And this is what now makes habits real because time is ultimately one of the most important faculties to this reality because the 3D matrix is based upon time, space and matter. So the more you are focused on uh, distractions, the more real they become your reality. Okay, I hope I'm getting the, the message across here, okay? So positive cues like snapping the fingers or if you uh, take time out of the day, such as uh, meditating, to connect with these energies and by meditating you can do something which is called mindfulness which can be just meditating on what are you going to do as soon as you leave this trance state of meditation and i know again that's kind of like a paradox why are you meditating on what you're going to do in the future um when you're trying to be here right now but what actually you're doing is when you're meditating on going back to doing your tasks you're actually merging the fourth dimension with the, th the third dimension so actually whilst you're meditating on doing a task right here right now you're actually doing it in your mind so when you do do it in 3d you're actually just doing it auto telically, okay? Uh, there's a lot of uh, information on auto telic, which is in an essence being, uh, in an essence it's the energies of being on autopilot, just like how a plane can, play, uh, can fly automatically. This is how your mind can do things auto telically. And this is the unconscious mind. And most of the time, we do things autotelically. Just as I'm making this video right now, the thoughts are coming off out of my mind, my brain. I'm not thinking about it too tough. This is how we work. This is how our brain operates. We do most things unconsciously and subconsciously. It doesn't come with a lot of attention. It doesn't come with a lot of concentration, okay? So in the terms 
of learning the subconscious mind, it's best to learn what are your thoughts? What are your disadvantages? What, what can you improve? By focusing on what you can improve, it can then allow you to know there's certain things you need to build on to create reality, the reality you want, okay? So for example, just catching up these rays, you can bring out a journal and write down every time you get distracted, what distracted you and why, okay? And you know, you can just keep this beside on your, you know, on your table and just write a little jot down, you know? Or if you wanna be lazier about it, you can just do like a tick, you know, just a tick or a line every time. And this will just keep you observant and you will see how many times you get distracted in a day, okay? But this isn't something, you know, this is for people that really wanna take this serious. And I'm just saying, you know, at the beginning, you just wanna observe, you just wanna be aware of distractions. Then when you wanna implement certain practices, this is now the, the next step because our mind, Our mind has something called awareness. We have a awareness, should I say. Our mind isn't awareness, awareness is everything. Then we focus through the mind. Then we have attention, which is using your awareness to put attention on something. Once you put your attention on something, you now go into a subconscious portal. And if you concentrate on this awareness, on this attention, you now open a bigger portal, right? And Concentration is one of the most powerful and potent energies we can perform. Just by concentrating on one given task, which can just be mental, can have the ability to make us tired. This is why it's so hard to concentrate. And this is why distractions are more frivolous. Okay, so by concentrating on alleviating certain programmings, it can help us learn why we do things. And by concentrating on certain tasks, we can see why we're good at it. Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is concentration is one of the most potent and powerful energies we can use with our minds, okay? So be here right now and do what it takes to manifest. Nothing gets manifested without the energies of being here right now, okay? I hope this video has been of value to you. And if so, please like, comment, comment, share all of that. Peace.